Doc's Thrash led a fascinating life, one that was certainly not immune to struggle, but also he gained quite a great deal of acclaim as an artist later in life for his contributions to the printmaking field. He was born in Griffin, Georgia, in very modest circumstances. His mother, Ophelia, was a domestic worker. He had three siblings, and by fourth grade, Doc's Thrash actually had to drop out of school, presumably to help the family. And by age 15, he had left uh, in search of um, greater opportunity and ended up joining a vaudeville company and traveling around for a few years until he made his way to Chicago, where his ultimate goal was to pursue artistic training. During the Depression, Thrash is one of many artists who is sponsored by the Federal Art Project and his work in the print division actually was where um, he was able to experiment with different kinds of techniques. It's in this setting that he starts using uh, carborundum powder, which is actually a powder used for wiping down lithographic stones, and he applies it to copper plates and realizes that when printing with this, you can achieve some really beautiful tonal effects. It's a brand new technique that really gains um, a lot of traction and a lot of interest and really propels him in, into the limelight. By the 1930s, Thrash was committed to depicting places and people that were familiar to him. And like many African-American artists at that time, he wanted to celebrate black life and to show the humanity of his subjects. This print in the Highs collection, I believe is just an extraordinary example of this commitment. The setting is rural Georgia. It was a point of reference to where Thrash grew up in Griffin. Although life was a struggle for Thrash and his family, the picture is uplifting. Here we see a family and they're out and about. They're living their lives. And there's a warm glow that really pervades this composition. Here Thrash shares a beautiful memory. It's perfectly rendered in his signature carborundum technique and it's a really special piece in the highest collection.